Hi, I'm going to walk you through setting up a sync gateway and Couchbase server cluster on AWS running under CoreOS Linux and Docker. So this is what we're going to end up with. Uh, we're going to have three EC2 instances, um, which is kind of represented by the blue boxes here, and each of those instances will be running CoreOS Linux. On one of the instances, we're going to have a sync gateway and a Couchbase server node, uh, whereas the other two is just going to be um, Couchbase server nodes. And you can kind of roll this in a various amount of ways. Um, typically what you would want is maybe something like uh, six instances where three are Couchbase server nodes and three are Sync Gateway. Um, and I'll I'll walk through that later, probably not in this screencast, but it's 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 definitely pretty easy because of the fluidity you get with uh, CoreOS and Fleet. Okay, so let's let's walk through this. I'm I'm just following a log in following along in my blog post um, titled "Running Sync Gateway Cluster Under CoreOS on AWS." So the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, cloud formation wizard. I'm already logged into AWS. Uh, if you're not, you just need to be logged in, and it will bring um, it will bring this up, so we can rename it. You can call it, you know, my CoreOS cluster or my Sync Gateway CoreOS cluster, whatever. Uh, it's already using this template file, which um, basically has um, the security ports uh, open and so forth like that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Um, so here it wants a discovery URL and it tells you to grab a new token from this URL so we're gonna go ahead and do that and this um, this is a core OS thing and it just uses this to uniquely identify the cluster and then you'll need to use a valid key pair so um, if you haven't already set up a key pair in your uh, AWS settings you need to do that before you can move on and you just put the name of the key pair uh, unfortunately, this form doesn't kind of like autocorrect or it's not a pull down, so you you have to spell it right, otherwise things won't work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We can leave this blank, and then this is just confirmation, so I'm going to go ahead and create. So it will show you this, <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and hit refresh here, and it will show you that the create is in progress. And all, all cloud formation is is just... Um, it just allows you to launch uh, and manage multiple EC2 instances um, as a fleet rather than uh, individually. Okay, um, looks like the operation is completed, and so now um, our our cluster, our EC, our bare EC2 machines are up and running. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, we need to get the IP addresses of those, of at least one of those EC2 machines. I can't do it from this screen, so I'm going to go to EC2 control panel and I'm going to go ahead and search for CoreOS. Um, so these, these terminated ones are old ones that I kicked off in previous tests. So the ones we care about here, I'll just actually do my sync gateway. Uh, okay, so these are the three we care about. So I'm just going to pick an arbitrary one, and I'm going to copy and paste the IP address. Now I'm going to switch to a uh, terminal here. I'm going to go ahead and um, SSH into one of these. Um, it's a, I have to use the core user, and uh, it's going to be using my public key, which I... Um, my AWS key pair, and I've already got my AWS key on my machine here. Okay, so SSH'd in. Now I'm going to go back to the um, to the blog post and um, go ahead and do the sanity check here, just to make sure that CoreOS is healthy, so it sees all three machines in the cluster. Uh, now I'm going to go and get this. Um, shell script uh, and just kind of follow along here we need to um, make it executable so I'm just going to do star.sh and then we need to define a um, 
where our sync gateway configuration that we're going to be using is. So uh, I'm going to be using this one, which is our to-do light sample app. And I'll just quickly pull that open so we can look at it. Um, so this defines a single database called to-dos. And, um, and then it has a sync function that corresponds to the to-do light application. OK, so then the last step, uh, we actually need to kick this script off. Um, one parameter, a couple of parameters here I'll, I'll highlight. So the N, N1 means we're going to have one sync gateway node. Uh, C, which stands for commit or branch, um, is the sync gateway version we're going to use. So I'm going to use the latest off the, ma off the master branch. Uh, the dash B stands for bucket, and it's going to create a, a couch-based server bucket. And the dash Z is the bucket size. And then the dash G wants the config URL, which you define in previous step. Dash V is the version of Couchbase server, so the valid ones are 2.2.0 and 3.0.1. Dash M3, that corresponds to the uh, number of Couchbase server nodes that we're going to kick off. And then dash U uh, is the user colon password pair that we're going to use. And that's basically going to set up the administrator password for the Couchbase server cluster. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that as is, and, and we'll let that run. Okay, uh, it looks like our cluster has now launched. Um, I cut the video because it takes a while. You can expect it to take about five or ten minutes. So um, let's go ahead and do a fleet control list units. Oops, got a little typo there. Okay, so it actually lied to me. Um, it said the cluster was up, but it's um, you see this last node here is is still starting. So we're gonna wait a little bit more until until that's done. Okay, so now everything is up and running. So we can go ahead and test things out. So I'm gonna go back to the blog. Um, so the first sort of way to verify is to get the internal IP of the uh, sync gateway node and do a curl request against it. So that is this IP. So we're going to go ahead and do curl that IP. I'm going to go to the 4985 admin port and no, no other sort of uh, URL parameters or anything. And so let's see, that didn't seem to work. Um, let's try one more thing here. Uh, let's try localhost since uh, that is the same machine. Okay, that worked on localhost. Uh, I'm not sure why the internal IP didn't work, but. Um, Let's try it externally since that that's what really matters the most anyway. So um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the management console and get the uh, external IP. And now I'm just going to go in my browser. I'm going to type in that IP and then go to port 4984. Okay, that worked. So that's that's what matters. It was available externally. And um, so we got the sync gateway welcome message, and this is the latest commit on the master branch. And so it, at this point, it's actually up and running um, and, and, and usable. Um, we only have one sync gateway node. So um, real quick, let's walk through the last two steps here. I'm going to go ahead and kick off a couple more sync gateway nodes. So... Let's do that. And we'll go ahead and uh, list the units. So two of the, the two we just kicked off are still activating, so we'll check back in a few minutes. Okay, so now we have all three nodes up and running.
And I'm going to go ahead and set up, uh, go through the last step in this blog, which is uh, how to set up a, an elastic load balancer. So go to, I'm going to the uh, load balancers um, section in EC2. I'm going to uh, go ahead and create a new one here called Mycing Gateway. And then the crucial part is that the instance port has to be set to 4984. And go ahead and continue. Uh, we'll do a health check. Uh, we'll just do to the uh, root path. And we have to go find our instances. So I'll sort by state running and pick the mycing gateway nodes. Uh, we don't need any tags, and that looks good, so we'll go ahead and uh, create that. Okay, so now i um, going to wait a little bit while this comes up and running. Okay, so um, now all the... Um, uh, the elastic load balancer looks like it's up and running. So these, if you go to the instances, these all say in service. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the uh, DNS name here. And we'll paste it in the browser. And this time we're going to go to port 80 uh, rather than port 4984 because that's where the load balancer is running. And there we go. Uh, so... Um, We've now set up a uh, load balancer in front of a uh, three-node sync gateway cluster, uh, which is backed by a three-node Couchbase server cluster. Thanks a lot for watching.